but Eclavia was not alone in his practice. He was unaware of the fact that just some distance away, the Pandava princes were also present in that area of the forest. As fate would have it, that day, they had come with their teacher, Drona, who was instructing them about some finer points of archery by making them learn in the real-life condition of the open jungle. As they were busy practicing, they suddenly chanced upon the stuffed dog, and wonder who could have pulled off such a feat of archery. Drona was amazed too. Such an excellent aim can only come from a mighty archer, he exclaimed. He told the Pandavas that if somebody was such a good archer then he surely needed to be met. The practice was stopped and together they began searching the forest for the one behind such amazing feet. They found a dark-skinned man dressed all in black, his body besmeared with filth and his hair in matted locks. It was Eklavya. Dronacharya went up to him. Your aim is truly remarkable. Drona praised Eklavya, and asked. From whom did you learn archery? Eklavya was thrilled to hear Drona's praises. How surprised he will be if he told Drona that he, in fact, was his guru. From you my master. You are my guru, Eklavya replied humbly. <laughs>